Hello and welcome to another video of Silky Beast Developer Studio Pro. In this exciting video, I'm going to show you how to get rid of noise by stacking images. You probably have heard of uh, stacking images uh, in Photoshop or any other similar image manipulating software where you take a bunch of uh, high noise photographs or maybe no noise but you take exact same non-moving stationary photograph and you stack them together and by doing so you can get rid of noise you can increase sharpness details or overall quality of your image in this photo um, in this tutorial i'm going to show you to do exactly that by using silky pigs developer studio pro first of all i would like to show you this image this image taken in i think iso 3200 and it's a bridge camera very small one one inch sensor so uh, generally the maximum capacity to take any good quality photo uh, is ISO 800. I pushed the ISO to 3200 to, for the sake of this example to show you the magic of stacking images in Silky Beaks Developer. So let's zoom in a little bit in this photograph. Look at this. It has horrible and incredibly a lot of image digital noises. This is one of those photos that you look at it and you question your life choices like what the hell happened to my life this is one of them now let's say you have your for uh, you have to make sure that your camera is on a tripod at least uh, as steady as possible like a ninja simple is that honestly you have to make sure that your camera is on a tripod um and then uh, also make sure that your um, white balance is fixed if not not far from each other because I made a mistake in this uh, example uh, in this one the my white balance is quite different than this one you can clearly see it in the video but for the sake of example I'm going to show use these photographs anyway so I already showed you how much noise you have in those photographs now what if I combine them together we're going to combine, select them from here all the way there. I'm going to keep the rest of the image uh, photographs uh, for the example, for the comparison. So you select all those photographs. Then you have a composite selected images right there. Now, if, you, if your camera um, photos are taken on a tripod, you probably don't need to click those. But if it's not, uh, somehow you moved your tripod a little bit, there's a shake, you can click them. Then you have to wait a little bit. While this thing is going on, I'm going to quickly explain the rest of the, the, the composite modes. So those two are same. You can, they do the same job. You stack them together, get rid of noises, and over, uh, increase overall quality of your photographs. Lighten, it's amazing to do star trails or any kind of firework photographs. You stack a bunch of um, uh, photograph with the fireworks and put them in one photos. Uh, moving object removal, as the name says, you can get rid of people, for example, from a museum. If you take a bunch of photographs uh, where people are moving, you stack them together and those are gone. This one does exact opposite. Imagine you have the bunch of image with a lot of people. You do that, you actually add people. Basically, the photos will be overcrowded. So what is the point of using that then? Generally, people use this one to create some kind of um, cool um, uh, Photoshop image. Imagine one of those photos where the same person in the same room, but many places. Uh, this is one of them. I'm going to show you this um, with an example. You also have the last one. It's called uh, Depth of Field Composite. Generally, you stack your focus to make sure that your photo is sharp enough very very good for macro photography or uh, landscape and now um, this is done uh, our stacking is done then the step two would be selecting between uh, dng or tip because those photos are on jpeg you don't have the option of selecting dng you have to stick with tip which is not bad either the quality will be fantastic anyway now you've done your stacking you select your output format and now you click composite. This is the moment, the, the waiting game. So you have to wait for a long time for this one, depends on your speed of your computer. Uh, and if you have raw images and a lot of them, 
then waiting period will be longer. But good news is that the end result will be brilliant. Here you go, our, our stacking is done. Now, this is the moment of truth. So, let me show you again the old photo. So that's our original photograph, one of, of, one of the original photographs. So that's the level of noise. What that's, how that stacks up with our, the new stack photo. Check this out. You absolutely don't have any noise whatsoever. I'm going to zoom in even more. I'm going to zoom in 100%. That's it. You don't have any noise. Simple as that. No noise at all. Yeah, all the details are brilliant. It's well sharp. You may have to add a touch of contrast and a little bit of sharpness. Right there, I would go with the normal sharp and add a touch of sharpness. Detail on emphasis and maybe add a little bit of contrast. Last say notch. And that's it guys. I'm gonna zoom out. Look at this. This is brilliant. Now we're going to compare that with our old photo. So we're going to go to the double window and then look at this. That's the original one. That's our stacked. You see that? The magic of stacking. Look at the details. I mean, uh, personally, I'm happy. I knew the how the result is going to be because I already have tested before this video, but I'm already happy again. Now, what is the difference between stacking? And that's the result of stacking. What if I try to get rid of noise manually from one single photograph? So this is the, the JPEG. I have a raw version of it. So we're going to try with the JPEG. So we're going to keep this one on the, on the, on the, on the right-hand side for the sake of comparison and we're going to try to reduce noise from this one so we click noise reduction so color distortion is the color noise so we're going to get rid of the color noise first before I do that i suggest you to reduce the saturation so that you can clearly see which one is the color noise so you keep that on the side as a reference and then bring it back here that's our that's our original point and now get, we're going to get rid of the color noise. That maybe because it's a high noise, so we go really crazy. Uh, that you don't have really, you really don't have a choice, unfortunately. That's you're obliged to crank up the noise reduction for, because uh, this is way too noisy. Now let's bring back. You see, that's the best result you can get. You can obviously put the slider all the way up. Your choice. The result, you're going to have a pretty crappy photograph. Look at this. I'm going to go up. I'm going to go up here too. Uh, okay. Let's say you can you add a little bit of sharpness, like we did in this photograph for the stacking. So you add a bit of sharpness, a bit of contrast. This is as best as you can get. That's it. So that's with an original JPEG with a noise reduction. This is stacked photo. You see that? All right. So we have tried with the JPEG. Obviously, this is it's going to be biased if I try noise reduction with the JPEG. What if I had a raw version of it and then try to reduce noise from the raw photo of the exact same photograph and see how that stacks up against our stacked image of this one. So we, I have a raw photograph somewhere, so I'm going to go back, all the way back, and there you go. So, I'm going to zoom, make the photo small. So, Silky Peaks developer generally try to analyze your photo and then try to add its own algorithm to reduce noise. So, I didn't have to do anything at all. I Trust me, I didn't touch at all. It just did the noise reduction itself. I'm going to reset. Look at this. Check this out. I'm going to reset everything. And I didn't touch anything at all. Everything is untouched. So Silky Peaks already used its own um, algorithm to reduce noise, as I just said earlier. We're going to zoom in as it is. So Silky Peaks used about automatically 88 noise reduction and uh, used the smoothness, which is the luminous noise reduction, 80. Uh, 79 and that's the end result of it so that's the row here 
as it's written, it's a row. And this is our stacked photo. And well, I'm going to try again by adding a little bit of sharpness. I'm going to add a little bit of contrast. I don't want to be biased. So I'll do exactly the same thing that I've done with that photo. Look, it actually makes it worse because I added sharpness. So you don't want to add sharpness in a noisy photo, which is already bad. So I have no choice but going backward now. Look, so as you can tell, I've shown you the JPEG and I've shown you um, the stacked and I've sh now in the, this one, I've shown you the raw. Which one is better? If I had a choice, if I have a choice to take a bunch of photographs of non-moving objects, that's important, non-moving objects, then you can easily stack them together in Silkybix Developer Studio Pro and get rid of noise. That's how simple it is. In next videos, um, I'm going to show you how to get rid of moving objects and I, I can also show you the, the, the other composite options to add objects meaning that a kind of cool photograph. I can, I'm going to also show you how to do focus stacking. For now, I'm done with uh, this, this tutorial. I'm very happy with the result, honestly. I cannot um, explain to you enough. I hope that video is useful for you. Give it a go, try it. Uh, make sure you take your photographs uh, on a tripod. That's, again, I repeat, very important. Um, that uh, By doing so, you have to uh, do less work on your um, software and let the software do the job for you. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful evening. Bye-bye.